Welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. Reba here. So uh, the smoke has cleared and um, I feel a little bit better about doing the videos. I was going to bring you guys along like every couple days to check on the seedlings. But you know nothing was really happening for a few days and so I just didn't make the videos. So I am bringing you back today because yesterday I saw green um, sprouts from germination of the fig seedlings and I have moved them into the greenhouse because the weather is turning cooler and so um, yes so I have them in here now and um, we have tree number one here tree number two here and my unknown Olive City Gym and the reason why I this has a name Olive City Gym is because it can, comes from the Olive City and it's a little gym. It tastes really, really good. But that is in fig wasp country. Okay, so I'm being completely transparent here. Um, I don't know what kind of fruit this is going to make outside of fig wasp country. Or if it's even common or not yet. I don't know. Although I have talked my niece into um, sending me cuttings this winter so that I can sell some of her cuttings so that she can um, have a little bit of money. I'm not going to be profiting off of it at all, but I don't mind helping out family, and so I'll be sending her that that moolah, and um, that'll make her so, so happy. So that's my plan, um, and then I'll probably just use the, the money from, I'll send her money to ship me the stuff, and then I will use some of the sales to cover my, my shipping costs. Um, and then the rest of the, the cash will be either be for fees for listing and then she will get the remaining amount, you know, after shipping and handling and all that good stuff comes out. So um, I won't be making money off of the Olive City Gem cuttings um, unless my niece tells me to keep a little bit because I, for me, it's just being able to help family. I, I'm all about helping people when I'm able to help people. So, I did see stuff. I'm rambling about other stuff. I'm sorry, you guys. All right. So, Olive City, or, or not Olive City, tree number one, uh, we've got, um, we do have some um, germination happening. So, you see that little green loop right there? You guys see that right, right there? Okay, so that is a fig seedling that has come up. I've kept this film over the um, pot so that the soil doesn't dry out and that the fig seedlings um, and or the fig seeds won't dry out and that it will make it easier for them to germinate and pop through. There's another little green um, stem coming up. So I am sure there's probably going to be a few more in this container pot as well, but those are the two main ones that I'm seeing in this container pot and the camera really picks up the green quite nicely a lot better than my own eyes because the other day when I went over it I was trying to take pictures last night and uh, I noticed that my camera was picking up um, the green spots way better than my own natural eyes so I was able to see them in the on my side of the video or the screen on my phone I was able to see them and I was like, whoa, that is so cool. So I did get pictures last night of these. And um, I will be posting those on my um, Facebook page uh, for Gooseberry Homestead. I am super excited. I think I see another one right there. You can kind of see where the seed starts to change, you guys. Let me see if I can zoom in. It's right in the center of the screen. And you can kind of see when the seed starts to change and it'll start looking a little bit green through the yellowish colored um, uh, seed. So this is number one. There was fewer seeds in this container pot from tree number one. Now tree number two, um, okay, wait a second. You guys remember tree number one was the one with the greener skin. Um, these are, I would believe, in the Adriatic uh, type family of fig trees. So tree number one and tree number two were very similar, if not closely like they're probably sisters okay um so I wouldn't be surprised if um they came from the same 
seed seedling. Now, I do believe that these were, based on the pictures that my niece sent me, I would say that um, these are seedlings based on where they were located. It's not natural, and um, frankly, I grew up there, so I know that these haven't always been there. So my guess is that they are definitely seedlings. Since I grew up there, I would know. Um, but I, I never saw them when I was younger. So I do believe that these were seedlings. And, um, and, and this right here, the fact that these are germinating means that seedlings do happen in Northern California, especially in my hometown where I grew up. So with that being said, um, don't be surprised when you see new seedlings popping up or new, new varieties and seedlings popping up out of Northern California because it's very, very possible, very, very probable. And there's a lot of speculation and stuff. So that's the reason why I am documenting this. Um, and this one here is from tree number two. These ones had the ones with a little bit more yellow skin. Now, remember my video that I did a couple weeks ago, you guys, where um, I was showing you the seeds and the process of soaking the seeds? The seeds def definitely looked way different from each tree. Like, the seeds from all the fruit from tree number two all looked the same. They had even a different color and a different hue, even, than the seeds from tree number one. I do believe, honestly, that these were two different fig trees. I do not believe that they were one. I do believe that they were also seedlings. So, um, my niece did go to my uncle's house and told me he's got a, um, a white colored fig as well. And the leaf shape was very similar to his. Now he lives probably in proximity to these trees, probably as the bird flies, maybe two miles or less. Okay. Everything's pretty much in very close proximity, no more than five miles right there in that city um, from the city center. So um, with that being said, I wouldn't be surprised, you guys. Um, there, there are a lot of people in my hometown who were big into their trees. Um, they didn't make, they may not have made it vocal or anything like that, but there are mill trees in town as well. So, I mean... <clears throat> Hopefully those don't get ripped out of the ground. But um, this one here, because we need that we need that caprification, you guys. We need those fig wasps. So this one here um, is tree number two with the yellower skins. And um, we do have green. We got a lot of them in this one. We had a ton of seeds, a ton of viable seeds out of this one. We've got a couple seeds here, and I see another new one. So this one right there. That first one, that one is just coming out today. The one next to it was yesterday. And soon, in a couple days, we'll have even more, you guys, um, of green showing. Here's another one that's getting ready to germinate right there, right in the center. And then if we come over here, it's possible that there's more coming. Look, look at, you just see them coming out. There's tons of them, you guys. That one's getting ready too. You can kind of see the, um, the greenness under the yellow skin of the seed. There's another one there. So there's a ton in this container. There's that one. And then if I come up over here, you can start seeing these ones. You can see the green hue on those seeds there. Those ones are getting ready. It looks like there's another, I can see green right here, right there. And then if I come back over here into this corner, there's a whole bunch up along the edge of the pot. And uh, you can really see them here, really um, coming along here. So there's quite a few seedlings in this container pot here for number one, no, number two, I mean. And then on Olive City Gem, let's see. I didn't see anything last night on this one, but we'll just look around. That might be something happening right there, possibly. Let's see, zoom in a little bit. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Let's see. I don't know if that's a seed or not. Um, Sometimes the tops of the soil will get a little bit um, green. There's that right there. I'm not sure if that's a seedling or not. You see that little green bit? Not quite sure. Could be. 
I see a seed up right next to it, but that could just be a discoloration. So, not a whole lot going on in this container, but I'm not going to roll it out. Um, she uh, is a little bit further away from that mill tree with her, so we had also less fruit from this one. And uh, there was there were viable seeds in this one from the All Olive City Unknown, or the Olive City Gem Unknown. And um, so, with that being said, um, yeah, everything's looking good. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what these put out because you never know. Um, there are black mission fig trees around town. You don't know what the mill trees, um, we don't know um, what type of fig the mill trees have. Um, they could be a white Adriatic. Um, they could be um, possibly Black Mission style. The, you just never know. So we'll just have to wait and see what kind of trees these make. And only time will tell you guys. So thanks for coming along um, while I document this. I'll upload this to my um, Facebook um, Gooseberry Homestead page. So we can just keep track of um, the progress on these seedlings. I will be overwintering these indoors as well as um, the fig tree number one here cuttings and the fig tree number two cuttings. They will eventually, these will eventually go into the garage so that they can um, go dormant. But I do want to just keep them out. Um, possibly. We'll have to wait and see. I might, I might keep them in the house and just let them be not let, let not let them go dormant because I don't really care about getting fruit on them next year so I did that with the Olive City gem unknown last year um, they were overwintered inside and now they are growing really good and I didn't get fruit on them this year I expect fruit next year this year they're gonna um, overwinter outside but I'll probably protect them as well so that's how everything's looking here and then I do I did get some Belmont's Beauty from Brian M. And so I will be putting these on the windowsill as well. And um, yeah, um, those will be overwintered inside as well. So anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching this uh, seedling journey. And comment, like, subscribe, click that bell button. As always, grow what you love and love what you grow. And have a wonderful one. And God bless. Bye.